welcome to HTC Kids at Home. Uh, I hope you are ready for some games and some fun and a little bit of learning. We're going to start with Lydia, who's going to lead us in a game. So jump up, find a space and get ready. Okay, so we are going to start with a game and we are going to play E. And hopefully you guys can remember this one. We did it in Holiday Club. So if I say run bean, you're going to run on the spot. If I say string bean, you're going to stretch out pull. If I say broad beans, you've got to make yourself as wide as you can. And if I say beans on toast, you've got to lie down on the floor like this. Okay, so here we go. Run bean. String bean. Run bean. String bean. Beans on toast. tells you a little bit about me. So, first thing in here is a book and it's called A Thousand Places to See Before You Die and it's lots of different ideas of where you can go on holiday, things you can see. Now this is two things that are really special to me. I love travelling, I love going places and seeing stuff and I love reading, so I love reading a book. Those are that's one thing that's really special to me. Got something. Well, oh, I love food. And this, I wonder if anyone knows what this is. This is popcorn that you put in the microwave. And you put it in, you take it out of the plastic, but you put it in and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and they all pop all at the same time. Now, popcorn is one of my favourite foods to eat. I love it. And I also just love most foods really and that's something that's really important to me so reading traveling popcorn hmm. I don't know if anyone knows what these are these are my very special gardening gloves now you wear them to protect your hands when you're getting all muddy and making um, a bit of a mess in the garden. Now, I love gardening and I love growing things like these nice flowers. And these were given to me by my mum um, when I first got some new plants. Now, my plants are very important to me. And I love making sure that they're okay and watering them and checking that they've got enough light. I spend a lot of time thinking about my plants. And when they grow and when they're doing really well, that makes me really happy. So, gardening. What else have I got in here? This, this is a face mask. So one of the ways that I like to relax if I'm feeling a bit tired or my skin's feeling a bit tired is having a, having a face mask, which you put on your skin and you leave it on there and you rest and you relax and it feels really nice. So that's something that I like to do. Something that's important to me. And something else that's important to me are my friends and their children. And this is a picture, I don't know whether you can see this, of a very special baby called Winston, who some of you might know when he was born. He's much bigger than that now. But that's things that are really important to me. My family, my friends and their families. That is something that's really special and important to me. These are all things that I treasure. Now, you might be able to think in your head of some stuff that you treasure, some things that are really important to you. I'm going to give you a few seconds. 
just to think of five things that you would think are really important to you. It might be your favourite toy, it might be your favourite book, it might be your best friend, it could be your family. Just think now of five things that are important to you, that you treasure. Now, Jesus knows all the things that we love. There's a part of the Bible where it talks about how God created us, God made us, and he knows everything about us. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows how many hairs are on my head, which means he knows how many hairs are on everyone's head. He knows each of us really well and really personally. And and what that means is he also knows the things that we treasure. He knows the things that we love. And he likes those things too. He likes those things about us. But I'm going to share a story with you from the Bible where Jesus really challenges us on the things that we treasure the most in the world. And this is taken from a book in the Bible called Matthew, chapter 19. It says, a man came to Jesus and asked, teacher, what good thing must I do to have life forever? Jesus answered, why do you ask me about what is good? Only God is good. But if you want to have life forever, obey the commandments. The man asked, which commandments? Jesus answered, you must not murder anyone, you must not be guilty of adultery, you must not steal, you must not tell lies about your friends, honour your father and mother, love your neighbour as yourself. The young man said, I have obeyed all these things, what else must I do? Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect, then go and sell all the things you own. Give the money to the poor. If you do this, you will have a treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. But when the young man heard this, he became very sad because he was very rich. He had lots of things. So he left Jesus and did not follow him. Then Jesus said to his followers, I tell you the truth. It will be very hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, I tell you that it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the, a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. So when we think about that verse and we think about all the things that we treasure, that's really difficult. Because Jesus said to the man who had lots of stuff, you need to give everything up. You need to leave your family, leave all your things, leave all your stuff and come and follow me. Now, I don't think that God wants me to stop gardening and leave all my plants behind. I don't think that God doesn't want me to enjoy popcorn and he wants me to give it away to everyone else all the time. I think God loves that I love my friends and my family. But there is one thing that I should love more than all of those things, and that is Jesus. So when I'm thinking, well, what is the most important thing in my life? What is the thing that I am most proud of, or the thing that I get most excited about? Is it that I'm most excited when my plants are growing? Is it that I'm most proud of all the places I've been on holiday? Or is it that the thing I am most excited about is God and what he has for me? The thing that I love more than anything is Jesus. And that for each of us is something that we need to think about. How do we make Jesus, the most important thing in our lives. We thought last week with the jar and all the stuff that we were trying to fit in the jar, if Jesus is the biggest thing and the first thing in our lives, everything else fits. All these other things can fit in the jar as well, fit in our lives as well. So 
we're going to spend some time, Lydia's going to pray with us. And I want you to think, what are the things that make you the happiest? Maybe those five things you thought about earlier. And how can you say, God, I thank you for these things and I love these things, but I want to love you more than everything. I want to follow you more than everything. I want to trust you more than everything. And when we do that, when we ask Jesus to be the most important thing, number one thing in our lives, then we get to live forever with him. We get to have the good things that he has for us. We see that peace that we talked about last week that is better than anything we can possibly imagine, even all the stuff that we have. So we're going to pray now. So we are going to pray together now and we are going to use our thumbs to help us pray this morning. So I want you to put your thumbs out like this and the first thing that we're going to pray about is we're going to say thank you to God. So that's good stuff. So maybe we can pray about those five things that you were thinking about as Rosie was speaking, those uh, five important things in your life and we're going to say thank you to God for those. So. Dear God, we thank you that you give us friends and family and good, important things. Um, And we thank you that we can enjoy those different things. But we ask now, can you please help us to put you as number one? Uh, Please help us to remember that you are the most important thing and that when we put you as number one and we put you as the biggest thing in our life, all those other things that we love and all those other things that we enjoy can fit around that. Amen. So the next thing that we're going to pray about is we're going to say sorry to God. And we're going to say sorry for those times that we haven't remembered to put him as number one. So for this one, we're going to do a thumbs down. This is, we're saying sorry for for the times that we didn't remember to put him first. So, we're going to pray now. Um, Dear God, uh, we are sorry for those times where we don't remember to put you first. We are sorry for those times where we forget to talk to you, we forget to pray to you, and we forget to spend time with you. Um, And we just want to say, sorry for not remembering to put you as number one in our lives and not remembering to put you as the biggest thing in that jar. Amen. And the final thing we're going to pray about is ourselves. So we're going to point to ourselves with our thumbs. Um, And maybe you can think about a specific part of your life where you need to remember to put God first or Jesus first. So remember when we had the the jar and we had the big ball and that was number one? We want that in all of the different areas of our lives. So if you just think for a second, where maybe do you not remember to put Jesus first? It could be at school or it could be at home or maybe it could be with your friends. And so I'm going to pray for us now as we point towards ourselves. Um, Yes, Lord, we pray for ourselves right now. We pray for each and every one of us who is watching this video this morning. Um, We just ask for you to really help us remember to put you first. And we just really ask for that specific area in our lives that we're thinking of right now in our heads. We pray that we can remember to make you number one in that area Um, and we just ask that we are remembering to put you first each and every day. Amen. Fantastic and we are now going to have an action song so if you guys want to jump up onto your feet find a space and get ready to do some action. failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubles you are
Bye.